now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's the Ramble. I'm Alex, Alex Bennett, and we'll be here until midnight on the East Coast of the United States. I bet you never heard of Boulder City, Nevada. This guy has. He lives and there. And he's leaving. He, huh? And he's leaving. And when are you leaving? Uh, and the next week. Next week. Oh, boy. So the next time we talk to you, may be somewhere else, right? I'll be in Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, boy. Son of a bitch. It's terrific. Huh? Yeah. You looking forward to it? Yeah, and a little hesitant, too. A little stressed out. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you stressed out? Just the, the move itself? Moving's always stressful. Right, right. The moving itself. You know, when I moved out to California... The first time, I had a Volkswagen Bug, I had a handful of Black Beauties, and an ounce of weed. A backpack, all I had for, for belongings was a backpack and a guitar. Now there's furniture that's got to go, and there's this that's got to go, and it's just a whole pain in the ass. You're, you're like a snowball rolling downhill. <laughs> really? And you keep gathering all this stuff as you're going downhill. Yes, that's uh, incredibly when I, true. When I first moved uh, to, uh, I think it was Texas, where I moved from California, uh, everything I owned was in the trunk of my car in the back seat. Right, 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 right. Then when I moved out of Texas to go to Minneapolis, everything I owned was in a moving truck. You there know? you go. And and eventually, I think somewhere along the line, I shed almost everything because I just didn't want to move it. I think when I moved from New York to California, I didn't bring much stuff with me. No, I'm not bringing. I'm bringing like clothes and books and mementos and stuff like that. But like the furniture, I'm not taking the bed. I'm not taking the sofa. Yeah. Right. Because I got a bed. I got a bedroom set already waiting for me. It's in the apartment. And I got a sofa and a recliner. Yeah. So what else do I need? Exactly. Exactly. So uh, so what kind of memorabilia are you taking with you? Well, like my juggling stuff. Did I hurt you with that well, one, the juggling well, stuff? Yeah, I was just, well, my eyes are tearing today, too, because we've got allergies out there like crazy. Uh, but no, I, I, I juggling stuff? Yeah, pins. Balls, different array of well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Is it possible for you to do some juggling for us right now? No, absolutely not. It's already packed. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So is the drum set. Because, I, you know, I never, never was never able to accomplish any kind of juggling. You know, I could juggle two balls. That was it. Well, I could teach you. Are you really good? Are you really good? I was at one time. Yeah. How about I haven't, I haven't I haven't juggled in probably thirty years. And yet you've kept the juggling equipment. Right, 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 right. And they and they're not they're kinda of heavy, aren't they, some of them? The balls are heavy. The pins are custom made so they're not that heavy. Yeah. What do you mean they're custom made? I mean I got I was living in Worcester and I had them made in New York and then shipped out to me. Oh, wow. God, I wish you had your balls. No, wait a minute. That's not thanks, right. Thanks so much. <laughs> thanks so much. Me too. That's not right. I wish you had your juggling balls because then we could have you juggle for us on the show. <laughs> that would be a first. You know. Well, maybe next time. Yeah. Um, I have to pull this stuff out and actually practice. Do you think you would have trouble the first time? Or is oh, it, yeah. Or, or is it oh, yeah. So it's not it's not the memory that you have that makes you do it, right? Right. At this point, it's starting over. Really? But you know the basics, though. They're, yeah, I know the pattern. I know the, the yeah. right way to juggle. Yeah. 
you know, and I could teach Little Feet. Remember the band Little Feet? Yeah. Okay, they're great to juggle to. That's what I, how I used to teach people how to juggle with Little Feet's music. Really? Yeah, because the beat is so profound yeah. that it makes juggling easier. You start juggling to the music. Now, at your best, how many balls could you juggle at one time? Five. Five? Right. I'm envious. I, could, I only could get up to two, which is, of course, anybody can do two. That's right. Oh, do, do two in one hand. Two in one hand. Well, that, that I couldn't do. You sure? I'm sure. Now, how did we get on the topic of juggling? Well, because because you brought it up that you were sending your juggling balls back to uh, 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 Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And I wonder... It'll be my first real win. Oh, you know, I checked out my passport, you know? Yeah. And I thought it, <laughs> I thought it expired in 2021. I found out, it, I looked at it, it expired uh, nine years ago. Boy, you have been in a coma, haven't you? Yes. And I went up to Canada with an expired passport. Nobody said it's a squat. I, my passport expired. So yeah, it was going, to, was going to expire. In fact, the, the old one has expired. So I sent away for a new one. But right. this being the coronavirus time, what right. should have taken like two months, max, took four months. Right. Took four months. So yeah, I got I got the picture? passport and I got a passport card. The passport card? Yeah, what they say is not good for international travel. So why the fuck did I get it? I have no idea, Alex. Supposedly, if I go to Canada, I don't have to bring a passport. I just take my passport card and show them the card, showing that I have, have a passport. You know. Maybe. I mean, is that what I'll get? Because uh, i got to renew mine. You can ask for a passport card. They charge you more for it. You know, they charge a lot of money now for passports. It's like $100 for a passport. Maybe $110. Is that right? Yeah. And then another $30 for the card. Holy crap. Yeah. And then, That's once you've got it, you can't go anywhere because there are no countries that will let you in and there are no airplanes you want to get on. Right. I have, that's the other thing is I have I've already bought my plane ticket, you know. Mm -hmm. And my big fear is the airline that I've booked it with will go out of business before I actually get to the airport. That, that could be. What airline did you do it through? Spirit. Spirit wasn't that a cigarette? I think so. I didn't know it was a uh, Spirit uh, airline. Check out the flight. The flight cost me $37.99. What? To, to, uh... From, from Vegas to, uh, Mass to Boston. How much? $37.59. What are you going to be doing? Sitting on the wing? Probably. Holding one engine on. I'd bring the duct tape to hold the engine on. Well, don't forget to wear, uh, two masks on that flight. Yeah. You know. Right, right, right. Oh, man. It's, it's the new normal. It's just, you know. It's ridiculous. You know, and for a guy like you, I mean, you're a comic. I talked to Pearl. He hasn't been working. No, nobody's been working. I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of people post small gigs. Oh, I'm doing, um. you know, the Animal Rescue, the SPCA? Yeah. And the commercials. Yeah. Have you seen the commercials? Uh, what? Me, me and uh, you know, you know Mark Pitta, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a. We're doing a little satire on that commercial. Oh, okay. But I, uh, which one? I mean, ASPCA. The only one I ever see is the one with animals with doughy eyes missing a paw. You know. Right, right, right. Now this one, they has celebrity like spokespeople, like the guy from Will and Grace, whatever his name is, Eric McCormick. I yeah, think. yeah. He does one, and then there's another lady that I can't remember who it is, does one. Wow. And the commercial ends with the lady holding a cat in her lap, and she's petting it, and I'm going to be the cat. You're going to be the cat? Yes. Oh, okay, how are you doing this? 
On Zoom? Peter's got all the video equipment. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he's going to do it through Zoom, right? No, we'll probably get together. Well, Pitt is uh, in California. No, Pitt is in Las Vegas. Oh, is he? Is he moved to Las Vegas? Yes. Oh. I'll have to get a hold of him because I've been wanting to talk to him anyway. So he's oh, going to yeah. so he's going to come out to Boulder City or you're going to go to him? I'm going to go to Vegas. I think he's got like a little studio set up in his apartment. Yeah. Now, do you have a car? Yes. What are you doing with your car? I'm having it shipped out. Oh really? Why didn't you just Why didn't you just drive it? Uh, it actually would have cost me more money to drive it. Well, the gas would be more than thirty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents, or whatever price you gave me for that. That's so, correct. That flight, which I'm not sure even exists, you know. I've I got it through. Hmm? I got it through cheapo tickets. Cheapo tickets. Well, I mean, look, as long as the flight is there and as long as you get on it, as long as they get you to Massachusetts, that's really all that matters, right? Right, right. And I wanted a direct flight. I didn't want to stop. Yeah. Oh, it, it's a direct flight? Yes. Spirit Airlines? I mean, I've heard yes. of them. I've heard of them, but I didn't know they were that cheap. Well, right now, airline... Air, Plane tickets are relatively cheap right now because of the virus. Yeah. Nobody wants to get on an airplane. Yeah. So you're taking that chance. Yes. I don't really have a choice. Well, how infected is Nevada right now? Nevada's one of the... It's next. Arizona's worse. California's worse. And Nevada's not real good either. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, most people are isolated, I mean, quarantine anyway. I mean, today it's going to be like 113 degrees. It's going to cool off to 111. Where you live right now? Right. By 10 o'clock, by right now, it's over 100 degrees. You know, that just the heat alone would prevent social distancing, for Christ's sake. Yeah, right? You know, or, or enhance social distancing. Who wants to go out right. in that kind of weather? Nobody. Uh, I hear people say, oh, yeah, but it's a dry heat. That's bullshit. I don't care. It's 113 fucking degrees. Right, right. And it's yesterday it was actually humid on top of it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, anyway. So, while well, we're, you know, it, it, the weather on top of it, at least here, it's been really nice. You know? right, I bet. You going to get out for a walk today? No. <laughs> I, every time I go out for a walk, there are people trying to get me infected in my neighborhood. Yesterday, I'm walking, I'm waiting for a uh, a lift to take me to my dentist for my root canal. Right. And uh, some person, some crazy black woman, and I said say black woman because the blacks in this neighborhood have a tendency not to wear masks. Is that right? I, I, there's some some kind of sociological thing they have against masks. I don't know what it is. I, I've, some, some people have explained it to me, but I don't understand it. But th that's also why they're getting a great deal of these, you know, dying of, of COVID is because they're not masking. Right. And because right. some of them, do you know that I saw a statistic that four out of five black women are fat, are obese? Oh, I believe it. And, and obesity is one of the real, I mean, you, they say, oh, my father died, and they show a picture of her father, and he's huge. Right. You know, uh, and some of them white folks. I'm not talking, I'm not trying to talk about blacks in any negative way, but hey, it's the, it's the neighborhood I live in. I live in a predominantly black neighborhood. But anyway, this woman comes up to me without a mask and shouts in my face, get out of my way. For oh, no reason. No reason but right in my face without a mask. That would have pissed me off. Yeah, but what am I gonna do? What I, uh, number one, I'm waiting for a car, and do I wanna create an incident, you know? Right, better just walk away. Better just walk away, and so I right. hope I didn't get coronavirus from her because she looked like she could be infected. She was like a... Oh, well, we've got her all these street people who are hovering around our apartment because it's got some kind of shelter in it because they 
they're working on the building. And uh, uh, Cuomo threw them all out of the subways. So they're now in the streets. Sure. You know, yeah. Hey, listen, I've run out of time. We want to do it. Want to do another one of these for the for the bank, yeah. so that while you're traveling, we can not miss a beat. That's perfect. Okay, Let's do one. ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Kravitz. Say goodbye, Thank Stephen. You goodbye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bow. Oh, that that one does not have a last. It should have a last bow on it. A boom, bow, boo, ba, ba, boo, ba, bo, ba, or something. I don't know. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? Oh boy, I don't know. Tired all the time. I don't know what this is. I think it's. I. I see. I wish I could get out. Okay, but when you go out, what is there? There's, there's of course people in my neighborhood coughing in my face. Uh, not wearing masks, um, but I say, okay, I'll go down to the store, and I go down to the store, and that's it. What am I going to do? I'm gonna, if, normally what I would do is I go, hey, it's a nice day today. I think I'll get on the subway. I'll go down to uh, Washington Square Park and go sit in the park down there, downtown, or maybe I'll go down to Italy and buy some uh, ravioli, but no. You know, I can't do that. We can't do that in this uh, pandemic. It isn't that easy. And then on top of that, see that? You know why I'm doing that? Because this eye is just tearing like crazy today. And I can't do anything about it. I guess I'll just have to go to sleep tonight and hope it's better tomorrow. But anyway, uh, it's time, I think, for us to... Uh, go to the um, the citizen panel now. How you can do that if you want to do the citizen panel is if you're watching us on our uh, YouTube uh, feed. Uh, there's a, there's just a you just click on that HTTPS uh, thing there, and that should do it for you. Okay, uh, I think should it? I guess yeah, it will. Okay, and. Uh, if you're not there, you can go over to Facebook and go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash A Bennett. Or you can, uh, let's see here, where else can you go to get it? Oh, yeah, you go to the gabnet.net page, gabnet.net. And there's over on the side, about halfway down on the right-hand side, it says click here to Zoom. And all you do is you just click on that. I don't care. You don't even have to have Zoom installed. Zoom will do all the heavy lifting. If you have Zoom installed, all the better, okay? Very simple thing to install. But this is really a no-brainer, I got to tell you. Really a no-brainer. In fact, uh, uh, no, I don't want to remove Charlie Wallace, but what is that? I hit, I hit, you see, I told you it was so easy, and then I hit the wrong button. I have to hit all the ones that say admit, okay? And uh, here they come. Here is our, uh, here is our, group of people. Let's see here. Who do we have so far? Okay. We got, well, we, we would like to say we have Jeff Stein, but apparently Jeff isn't there. Okay. Look at that. Oh, there he is. He's about, there we go. There, there he is Jeff. Uh, uh, connect your audio, Jeff. Okay. What, what, he has a bloody nose or something? Hello to everybody. How are you this evening? Good evening, everyone. Well, Robert Natale and Charlie Wallace and uh, Jeff Stein. It says is connecting to audio. Click on your audio thing. Where does he go to click on the audio? I think there's just a thing in there that you click on. Yeah. See over on the ba on the left hand side on the bottom. Where does he go to click on the audio? Oh, oh, oh now, now now I can hear him, but he's he's got the audio going. Okay, I think it's fine. Yeah, I'm on now. You're on now. I don't know. No hey. problem. Anyway, excuse my tearing eyes. Jeez almighty. I am. Oh. And I'm supposed to get up. I'm supposed to get an operation. Yeah, another operation. I think my whole life is nothing but one set of operation. One op or operation after another. Okay. Uh, but uh, to, to take care of these droopy lids I have here. And that will keep me. But then it will stop that burning that I feel with the 
with the stuff. But I can't do it till November. That's when the first time they'll be able to see me. So I'm going to have to suffer with this until then. So please live with me. Uh, Robert saw you yesterday. Uh, yes. Saw Charlie yesterday too when we did our yep. little uh, our little uh, uh, Monday thing, which we love doing, and it gets an incredible sized audience. It's amazing. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm amazed by it. It's uh, maybe maybe I ought to move the show to four o'clock in the afternoon because there seem to be more people available at that time. You were there too, at Vernon. I forgot. Yeah, Vernon was there yesterday too. Uh, so anyway, hello to everybody. How was your weekend? Good. Mm -hmm. It was good. Uh -huh. Any, any hot. hot? How hot yeah. is it in Texas? It's what 103 or something. Yeah, well, it got up to 100, uh, 104 today in Austin. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so that's winter in Austin. Yeah, 21 days in a row of over 100 degrees. Oh my God! How do you live with it? <laughs> well, I'm not going outside anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, a good excuse to st stay indoors. John Larkin, how's everything in San Francisco? Is the weather okay? Uh, it's been kind of humid the last couple of days, you know, for San Francisco. Yeah. But not too hot. You know, San Francisco never gets too hot. Well, it's been, really humid. You've been and having you, some fires up there, haven't you? Yeah, up in Napa, up that way. Yeah. In fact, they were showing there was a photograph of lightning hitting the Golden Gate Bridge the other night. Yeah. And you didn't see that yeah. kind of thing all that often. No, I was sleeping. It was in the middle of the night when all that was going on. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, then winter will come and we'll all get floods. And, you know, it, it's just, yeah. it, we're in the time of the coronavirus isn't the only thing trying to get us. Okay? So, what the hell? How you doing, Jeff? Go talk, turn on your mic, Jeff. Muted, You're muted, Jeff. Bingo, I'm on. Yeah, see. I I saw your show on uh, the other day. Mm -hmm. I watched it at the end. Oh, at the end. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, we had like, uh, with myself, nine people. You know, yeah. that was nice. You that know. was a fun group. Yeah. Well, what I like about the Mondays is they're non-confrontational. -con we just, it's kind of a very low-key show. Okay, uh, uh, that's why we're all praying that Phil never calls it. Okay, uh, because uh, we—it's it, just like it's not like everybody wants to bash Trump. There are other things we talk about, and everybody's kind of copacetic, you know. So, anyway, how you doing, Phil? Uh it's uh, it's ninety-three degrees right now in Walnut Creek. Yikes! Uh, ninety-three. Uh, it is hot. You know something? You know, I'm not surprised though, because I always remember Contra Costa as getting, during the summer, getting quite hot. Oh, and uh, I had to go to the city today, which was a pleasure. It was 78. Yeah. Uh, or at least according to the thing in my car. Yeah. But, um, uh, and you know, I, after I did a, I did an estimate, and then afterwards I met with that guy Paul. Uh, uh, Young, who uh, writes into the show once in a while, yeah. we had a cigar, a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a it was a nice afternoon. Yeah, I've never met the guy. He just he, he writes a lot of notes on the, you know, while the show's running and so on. He's a very nice. Guy. I'm sure, he seems to be a very nice guy, and always been a very big supporter of mine. So I appreciate that. Um, but that's not the only reason I should like him. You yeah, know, I'm not like Trump. I don't like people just because they have something nice to say about me. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and it was a pleasant day. Uh, mm -hmm. He had a buddy who's got a place in the Presidio that looks out over the bay. Uh, it's, it's beyond uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, but the view was spectacular. And uh, it was a nice, cool breeze coming in off the bay. It was, it was a pleasure. Now I'm back here. It's nine, it, it went down. Was, was everybody cool. wearing masks and stuff? Well, the cigar uh, keeps the uh, keeps the cold. Yeah, away. sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, no. How how did you deal with that? I mean, like I even when I have friends of Marjorie's come up or friends of ours, like we're having dinner with a friend of ours, Natalia, and I said to Marjorie, I said, "You don't think she'd mind if I like, you know, use my temperature gun to make sure she doesn't have a fever, right?" <laughs> 
Well, uh, he, uh, the, he, he had mentioned, that just like you, his wife is going back to work and had a COVID test the other day and tested uh, you know, clear. Negative. So mm-hmm. they get... You know, like you thought with Marjorie's test that you're clear as well. Well, I would think that if she didn't have it, that I didn't have it. You right. know, I mean, is that wrong for me to think, Brian? Is that false thinking? No. Yep. Uh, I think if, if she would have it, you would have it for sure. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or if I had it, I would have given it to her. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. What were you, what were you, you said, Jeff, you didn't agree. Well, yes, but I, I don't agree with that. You have no idea. She could have gotten it from somebody else. No, but I mean, she, but she didn't have it. What I'm saying is, she, why not? She tested uh, negative. Now, here's the thing: since then, she's been out. I've been out. I went down. I've taken buses, you know. Yeah. Uh, which uh, the one yesterday was a was deadly. I had to keep my hand over my face, you know, because people. Here's what they do. Women do I have my mask. I mean, I don't understand it. Um, Oh, here's my mask. Wait a minute. Let me get my mask. It doesn't uh, doesn't say anything on it or anything like that. But you know, well, here's the, the way you wear your mask, point. right? Yeah. It, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. Standard disposable. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. St- it's got the little metal tab up there that I like. Yeah. I, it, actually, it, it, I I get those from work. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I I like that one. My other one is too thick. And it's big because I have a sort of big face, but yeah. but that one, and I yeah. get right around my big nose and my right. tiny nose, and right. it fits really nice and stuck. And I can breathe through it. The other one's very dumb. Yeah. Nice. Now here's what happens. So, get on the bus. Uh, there's one person like this. Boy, that really works, doesn't it? Huh? Okay. It but keeps se- the jaw up. Se- se- well, it's a chin guard. Is yeah. really what it is. Okay. But then the next one was this. That does nothing. Okay. Work people people in the cubes are supposed to wear masks. We have mask uh, requirement now. Yeah. In the offices, they don't, so I have an office. So when I do leave, I always have to have my mask. So, But some people do that, and I always just ask, you know, I just go like this. But as this, a, you may as well not even be wearing it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then yeah. this is the way to do it. And then you pinch the top because it's yep. got a little wire in there. Yeah. And I always keep an extra one in my pocket in case this one breaks, because these are not, you know, these are going to break pretty yeah. easily, you know. Uh, yeah. I have found ways to repair them. You you stick a little pin through it, and you can weave the uh, the uh, yeah the, the elastic. But I just I get Thanks, it, Martha. <laughs> believe it or not, we have about we have about two hundred and fifty of them in the apartment, because Marjorie has had them sent by mm-hmm. uh, the people in China to us. Mm-hmm. And and certainly they know about COVID. So wait a minute, hold on a second. Why did that suddenly? How did that did they, happen? Do they buy those masks in China from the U.S. because they're cheaper when we the, send them? No, uh, no. I think they actually these these are uh, uh, it's probably Chinese made masks. Ours are. Uh, yours are. Yeah, and they're they're less expensive. <laughs> yeah. Well, we get what, them through a big. We get them through yeah, yeah. Fisher or BWR. So they're less they, expensive they and. Um, I mean, I have the N95, but I just find they're too much. You know, yeah. they're, they're oppressive. Uh, and uh, they say now, don't get ones with vents in them. Because the vents don't prevent y- at least your breath from going out. You know, right. because they have the little, you know. But, you know, when I was doing the radiation, yeah. uh, and you'd walk into the hospital, I'd wear the N95 with the vent, and they would give me one of those surgical masks to put over it. So every yeah. day I pull out the N95 with the vent, walk in, get a free surgical mask, and then uh, you know the well, next day I, another. I went to my dentist yesterday for part three, yeah, part no part two. Wait a minute, part three of my uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, root canal. Root, root canal. Root canal. Uh, and uh, she's wearing two masks. She was wearing an N95 and she, oh, uh, 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 as her main one. And, uh, and then over that, she was wearing one of these. And I said, why are you wearing two masks? She says, to protect you, because we're working in close with you. You can't wear a mask while we're doing this work. So we're doing it to protect you. My, my uh, dental hygienist wore not only the mask, but a shield, a plastic mm. uh, shield. 
uh, Robert looked like he was going to say the same thing. You have allergies too, Tony? No, I got all emotional watching Biden's wife give this speech. I oh my God! God. She, he is in trouble. I got, I was caught to get crying on the couch. What do you mean he is in trouble? Trump is done. Oh, Trump, speech, Trump's in trouble. Oh my, yeah, she well, had me in tears, Alex. I was crying a little bit. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't see it because I'm getting ready for the show. Do you agree, Brian? Was it? Yeah, you know, he he had he had, he had a life, you know, so. He had a yeah, very. He's had a very yeah. tragic life. Yeah, he he went into detail how they met through a friend and stuff like that, a little joking stuff, you know. So it, I mean, he's a really good guy too, you know, which is really nice. The empathy is there. And he had to ask her to marry him five times. Yeah. Before she said yes. Voice, well, she. I heard voice. that. I heard, saw an interview yeah. with her on CBS a couple of weeks ago, and and the reason he had to ask five times was she really wasn't sure because he had been through so much. She yeah. didn't want. It wasn't that she didn't want to take it on, but she wanted to make sure he really wanted this, and it wasn't just that he was grabbing onto her because it was like a life raft, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, but it's 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 a wonderful story, and um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Phil will have a different opinion, oh. but Brian, no, no matter what you is, think about oh. him politically, Joe Biden's a good guy. He is. Yeah, he sounds like a good guy. I feel Trump's in trouble, Alex. I don't know how he's going to come out of this now. I think this. Well, he's he's this. not in trouble because what he's going to do is he's trying to stack the deck. Of course, today yeah. the post office finally decided this was getting a little too obvious, and uh, they've gone back on their. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you took it off! Yay! Tell them the story because you told it yesterday. There's no story. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I, don't, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, come on. I was going to video me, and po and I said, what am I doing? I can't be that dumb. There was a post, um, yeah, post, so two post office boxes side by side, and one of them oh, had yeah. this over it. Yeah, so mm -hmm. one of them had a bag over it, and I was wondering why. At first I thought, well, maybe they're doing some repair on it, but I'm like, what breaks on a mailbox? And yeah. So there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them side by side, and I had the picture somewhere, but... It says two of them next to each other, so it's a drive up one, you know, you could dump yeah. them in. And yeah, I went by there and I saw that one bagged up. And then when I talked to you guys about it, then, uh, then at, uh, in the morning well, before work, you, I drove over yeah. there and it actually was easier because it sort of blew off a little bit, but it was still Well, covering. you asked well, if you I could be, pulled. you could ask if you could be arrested for defacing a, a mailbox and not really because you're not defacing it, you're returning it to the way it should be. Yeah, and it was just like painters. You know, tape, for all so. you know, the post office didn't do that. Yeah. yeah. Somebody may yeah, have done and, that. And could have been, that could have been, Brian, that could have been, that that been somebody's, that, Brian, that could have been somebody's girlfriend that, you know, you put the bag over it. <laughs> that, so, you know, yeah, so, so I drove up there. Bob. I drove up there in the morning and uh, I just pulled up and started pulling on it and just yanked the thing right off and I just, Put the window down and drove off. <laughs> really good, good. I'm glad you did. Uh, but uh, today he's uh, he, the, the 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 Trump's <laughs> l lackey at the post office. I'm trying to remember his name right now. The joy. The joy, huh? Joy, the joy, the joy, the joy. The joy. Uh, that uh, he said that he's going to stop all the changes he was going to do because. It wouldn't. It look, the optics or something wouldn't look good during the election, but yeah, he did didn't. Think, did you, but he did said he's going to stop. He's, he, said, he's going to stop removing the post office boxes, and he's going to stop uh, dismantling the sorting machines. But he didn't say he was going to yeah. put the mailboxes back, and he yeah. was going to restore the sorting machine. So the right. damage did, may did, have already been done. Did you uh, hear what uh, Nancy Pelosi said about that, Alex? What? what? Nancy Pelosi said it's like he took three steps forward and a tiny baby step backwards. Yeah. Uh, he got enough done that it was t uh, time to yeah. say, oh, well, maybe we better not do that. But if he didn't Biden gets elected, hmm. he's going to remove the pay phones and he's going to outlaw pagers. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big deal. What's a pager? Yeah. And, and he might and he might make the cavalry get rid of their horses, hey, too. By the way, I, I never right I never player. went out of style because I never owned a pager. How many here owned a pager? Oh, I, I do. <laughs> I never owned a pager. I never saw I any reason to have a pager. Hey, I've got a phone. Call me. You know? The movies didn't the drug dealers have the pages in all the movies? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. You know, 
I had uh, I was in Australia at a duty free shop and I bought a watch. Yeah. Uh, and so I said to the guy, "How much more is it for the one with the date?" And the guy says, it's $500 more. I said, nah, this is 1996. I said, I really don't need that. I got a pager. I know what day it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never had a pager. I got a watch. Never saw no any day. reason to have one. I don't know. I yeah, stopped I've wearing a watch be because my phone has the correct yeah, time on I it all I never the time. Wore one. Yeah. 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 I, never... started, I started wearing a watch because it has my phone on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never paid for a phone. So since phones have been started, I was always into a, a, a manufacturing position. So the companies always gave me a phone. So I've always had a phone. So you've, you've always had a phone. But what about your wife? She, she want to have? A, does she have her own phone? Yes. Is it through the yeah, company? I don't pay for that. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering. <laughs> no, yeah. You're asking all these. Uh, you know. when they, yeah. I mean, so. Marjorie, I think, got her phone paid by her company. Mm. You know. Uh, but mine didn't. I'm still paying for it. I got two more months, and then it's all paid for. And then you know what I'm going to do? Buy, I'm buy a new one. one. Buy a new one, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, this is what my business manager said to me once. He said, why don't you lease a car? And I said, no, I want to own a car. He says, you never own a car. He said, what happens when you're down to your last payment? I said, well, I go buy Any another car. car. He said, you never yeah. own a car. So you may as well lease it. Only I kept my other car for a while. So what? It's only if you buy it. There's only enough equity in it to trade it in on another mm. one. By the way, the know? audio on your mic sounds weird tonight. Do you, are oh, you yeah. using some kind of compression or something on it? No. no. It seems it sounds doesn't sound a little weird tonight for him yes. because usually it's just booming. You know. Maybe our new car is a lease, Alex, man. and the reason we did the lease is because. Uh, did, we wanted it, we didn't really need an, a car payment, but when we started looking at the lease versus the purchase, you don't pay the property tax on the full value of the car when you lease the car. It's mm -hmm. only a portion of it. And and this car, I, I got the very minimum, which was like 30,000 miles for three years. Yeah. That was the minimum lease you could do. Yeah. We've had the car now for 15 months, and we only have 6,000 miles on it. Hmm. Well, you see, buying but, it at the end of the term, and yes. then you know, yes, and I can buy it off. at the end of the term. Yeah, and I know what, off. and I know what the price is going to be. What exactly. I can buy it for, so That's I can exactly turn around right. and flip it and make a couple of grand. Exactly. Well, but right. here's I've here's the here, here's the thing. I the thing that drove me crazy about leasing was that you only had a certain amount of miles you could do before they started charging you like six cents a mile or something like that. Right. Five and, cents. Or five, whatever. And I was always looking at the speedometer. Oh, God, I'm getting close to, you know, I was, it was always driving me crazy. So I had two cars. The other one was paid off. And so when I saw I was getting too much mileage in a given year on this one, on the lease, I would then go start using the other car, you know. I, I had to release a car a couple of times because I had so many miles that I, if I turned it in, it would have cost me a fortune. So I just leased it again, and the payment was lower. And then finally, after two times of doing that, I bought it, and uh, then I sold it. Yeah, well, I just, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I prefer to own a car. I'm sorry. It's just weird. I know. Because yeah, who does it? Was... I mean, how many here are leasing a car? Raise your hand. Know. Oh, just you, just you, uh, Robert, and uh, and uh, I, know, I like my car so much that yeah. I wouldn't sell it for just about any price. So now I've had it nine years, and I plan on driving it another ten years. Uh, you know, there, uh, and so if I leased it, I'd have to give it up. But uh, you know, I'm I'm perfectly. Yeah. Happy if, if, you le if you lease it, though, don't you get to deduct it on your like if you have a business? If you have a business, but if you don't have a business. Yeah, you know, the reason, I'll tell you, the reason I leased the second car was because I did have a business, and we oh. could then take the taxes off. That was lease. deductible. Yeah. Yes, Brian. Yeah, my grandfather, he was a salesman when they used to have, like, a stationary supply store that would actually go out to companies and sell stuff. So so he used to buy new, cat, or lease new Cadillacs, and then my mom used to buy them after. Oh, okay. Yeah, so after he turned them in, she used to, she bought, like, three or four of those, so... Already knew the the condition and good price, so. 
Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jeff. You know, I used to have all kinds of leases, cars like that. Mm -hmm. But it was like you said, it was a. Uh, I own the company, so therefore. Yeah, it made sense at that. Cars too. Yeah. I yeah, lease all my computers from Dell uh, for the store. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I have seven workstations and right. I have no more servers. Now I'm on the I don't know what's it. wrong with your mic tonight. Uh, you know, let me call back. Uh, I don't know. No, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I, I, I fussed with the things. I turned everything down. Uh, I'll just call back. You okay, know, well, call know. back, but I don't think that it has to do with bandwidth. Uh, let's see. Well, go ahead. You know. Call back tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, I won't, I, won't, I, won't, I, won't, I won't let him. I won't let him back in. in a couple of days. I won't let him back in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I got my uh, my thingy in the mail today. You guys know what this is? Ooh. Oh yeah, I got one of those coming up too. What's that? My yearly. I got Kaiser. Yeah, I got Kaiser too. What is it's it? The, uh, the poopers test. Oh, yeah. yeah. Test. What, 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 why pooping? Why a pooping Pooper test? test? They test Don't your poop us. for. Uh, what, what is that? What is that? Oh, is that? Sample. I got put in the thing. Is that cold? No though? way. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was trying was... to rush for the show. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> Took T roll. Uh, is the mic any better now? Yeah, the mic is better. Yeah, it's working now. All right. You, you missed my my sample. Is that uh, cold? Well, I I saw it on the uh, on on the iPad. No, I haven't done the sample yet. I don't know why I wanted to improve Phil's sound. You know, that's dangerous. <laughs> um, Phil, um, uh, uh, by the way, I want to ask you, how's your hormone stuff working for you? Do you feel uh, it at all? I, no, I don't, feel, I don't feel any different. They're giving him female hormones. Uh, I took one shot that lasts six months. So in October, when I go in for the PSA, if I don't have any detectable cancer, I don't need to take another one. But, okay. Uh, if they do. That's the next. Uh, that's the next deal. And uh, so I'll get one every six months until I uh, until you get a vagina. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you already have the man boobs. Because you seem uh, a, you seem a little more. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, sedate. Yeah. That's only because I'm trying to, yeah, really. Uh, Speaking of man boobs, this is uh, Putin. He's been taking the vaccine. Oh, okay. Uh, picture him. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it says in Spanish or something. It's uh, like vaccine. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but so you don't feel it affecting you at all? No, not at this point. Oh, but, okay. uh God, those Lifetime movies, they're a real, you know. You really, they're tearjerkers, aren't they? You should have oh, yeah. watched Jill Biden tonight. Uh, no, I, I didn't watch Jill Biden. Uh, Jill, watching, Jill Biden. Jill, I, I didn't watch because her. Because according I, to, according, where's, oh, according to Tony, it was a real tearjerker, right? It was, hey, yeah. you, know, you know when they were doing the state counts and stuff? I enjoyed that. I, well, I, I had to go to the bathroom during it. But Why did that one state uh, pass? It's a did they, was it New Delaware. Hampshire? Yeah, Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. Why did they pass? Well, because typically in conventions, they have the, the uh, one of the candidates that they think is going to be the presumptive nominee. They let that state put him over the top. Right. But they didn't oh, do that tonight. Oh. They, they didn't, didn't put him over that. the top. No. Now, no. I noticed that uh, Bernie Sanders had a thousand something uh, delegates and then Biden had 3,700. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, but nobody else had any delegates. If you looked at all the other people that were on the ticket, uh, yeah. they all at zero. That sound yeah. is coming back, by the way, Phil. It's it not. It, it's must, something in your system. But wait, wait till we get off, and you can deal uh, with it then. I'll reboot later. Well, yeah, either reboot or. Sounds just, okay to me. Huh? I can't. I don't know. I'm hearing yeah. something here. Just kind of, it's uh, nothing. Most people probably aren't hearing it. It's because it's so hot here, and I gave Faye all the fans uh, last night from the uh, the, the, the uh, unit that I had in here. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, um, yeah. the uh, what I found interesting, what I found interesting about this whole virtual convention is, is number one, I I hope they do it this way every four years. You know, I think yeah. it really works. You know, it, and it, it, it what you're doing is you're paring off all the excess weight of a convention and getting down to what a convention always does, a bunch of people giving speeches uh, uh, one for one thing or another, 
And uh, then you have the roll call, which worked, but it worked better than it would in a convention because they get up and they go, the great state of blah, 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 where we have the greatest rivers and the greatest streams. I mean, they gave a little speech at the beginning, and then they gave their count. And I think that worked really, really well. Okay. Not for another 12 years. What? Trump said that, uh, you know, he'll uh, he'll get reelected. Uh, what did he say? He was doing it in jest, but it was like third and fourth term. Third and fourth term. Yeah. yeah. So you, know, you won't need another convention. They can yeah. save them. They can save yeah. them. Yeah. He's going to be in Russia in the next election. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it, um, it it's, uh, you know, I mean, um, I think the Democrats are doing a very good job of it. And there are some people who are saying the Republicans are not going to do as good a job of it because the Democrats felt this is what they had to do months ago, that they weren't going to hold a convention in a convention hall. And so they prepared themselves for this and sussed out how they were going to do it and how the, the show was going to go. And it was all done, whereas the, the Republicans didn't decide till a couple of weeks ago that they were going to hold it virtually. And so they've got to play catch up. Uh, Don't they have that guy, uh, the social media guy, that's pretty good at this stuff. The, he was the campaign manager, and now he's just doing the, the uh, media. Uh, yeah, but, but what, all, all, I'm saying, all, I'm, yeah. all I'm saying is getting all this stuff together with a couple of weeks' notice is not the way the Democrats did it. They decided a, a couple of months ago this is what had the way it had to go, and they prepared for it this way, and it really works. I mean, it's it, you know, it's uh, it's fast, it's to the point. Uh, the speeches are short. You know, they don't go on forever. Uh, and um, it, uh, I think it's working very well for the Democrats. Now, what's going to be interesting is there will be a bounce for Biden after the convention. Why? There's always a bounce for the candidate after the convention. The question is going to be, is there going to be a bounce for Trump after his? Uh, and it's got to be, it's got to live up to what these guys are doing right now, or he's not going to have that kind of bump. You know, so it's, 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 it's interesting. It's fascinating. It's going to be a shit show. Hmm? It's going to be a shit show when he does it. You know that. It's going to be, you know, because he's a wacko. Oh, so you can see the future. Ooh. Well, come on. It's, everybody's going to watch it just to see what a nutcase. You know something? You know? I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I'm so sick and tired of seeing that man. Yeah. That I don't know that I want to see his silly face one more time. I actually gave money to Trump tonight. Uh, you know, I couldn't. I looked on. Why'd uh, you give money to Trump? He's a billionaire, supposedly. Trump, he doesn't uh, need the yeah, money. Yeah, I thought he wasn't ever going to use money. He was going to be self-funded from the get-go. That was yeah. uh, sixteen. Now uh, <laughs> the, the, the thing is, you know, uh, and you know, those rubles don't go very far. I yeah, mean, right. But, exactly. but yeah. the. Uh, yeah. But, well, you know why Edward Snowden hasn't come back to the United States? Because Russia is a non-extraditing country. Ah. Right. Yeah. So that's where Trump's going to end up if he has to leave. Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah, that's what I say. You know, if you look for all these sites that are asking you to donate, many of them say that they're not affiliated with Trump, you know, or with the campaign, that it's independent. So I would figure that a large portion of what you donate goes to them and a small portion goes to the campaign. So I was able to find a site that was actually, the money went to the campaign and that's why I donated, but I Listen, didn't solicitation. Before you, before you donate to anyone's campaign, take a 20 out of your wallet, fold it in half and put it <laughs> somewhere under a book. Yeah, well, I, you don't I'm have just to be welching. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. You better get that 20 ready, Phil. I, I, I think yeah, Tony, the 20. Tony's been telling me that he wants some of that action, but he's going to Trump. So, you know, Tony, are you going to you gonna stand oh, no. up? If and Jill tonight, I don't know. Uh, Jill, Jill Schmill, you know, uh, you're either going to, you're going to, you know, live up to what you've been telling me or, uh, you know, or I you're going to scratch your jaw. I, I don't know if I can do it. I think, I don't think he's going to do it, Phil. Who? Uh, in the last three, four days, all Tony talks about is how Trump's going to win 
and uh, you know, I want some of that uh, thing, and I'll, 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 I'll take some of that bet. I, I, I am worried about the silent vote. That's why I was telling. That's why I don't know if I trust what them. silent vote. The where Russians. Where Look how quiet I am. I, I'm leery of it, Alex. I'm not that secure as views are in it. Like, uh, just, you know, here. there are polls, and you can say what are you know what what are the polls worth? Because the polls were giving it to Hillary, and actually, technically, they were right in yeah. that she did get the popular vote. Yeah. Uh, they just did, weren't going by electoral numbers, and there they got it wrong. They however, said. however. The percentage that she was ahead of Trump was not huge right. compared to what it is right now. I mean, you could slice Biden's lead in half, and it still wouldn't be what how far ahead Hillary was in the last election. You hear the uh, I don't know if it was real clear politics or uh, which one it was, but I heard that there was a poll today that uh, put Trump uh, within a couple of points of Biden. I think it was a uh, CNN four. poll. Was it CNN? It was like four points. Uh, yeah. Was that nationally? The margin of error was like three point two or something like that. Yeah, but oh. there was a reason they said they felt it had come out that way. That it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't typical of the of the results they have been getting. It was not as poll. Well, I mean, who knows? You know, but I think the way I feel hopeful because I look at the way the Democrats are running this campaign. And it's so much better than it was, you know, four years ago. Would you agree, Charlie? It hasn't started. It just, it just, they just voted him in. He was presumptive. I'm sorry, Charlie. You know, I, I, I would agree that they're running a better campaign than Hillary ran, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's, it's much more focused. And the candidate is much more likable. I mean, let's face it. Hillary was not the most likable of candidates. You know, uh, we've been joined by Bree, and so far we only have his soldier. name. What? You know, a stone-faced pony soldier. You know, he argues. With, if they let him out in public, he <laughs> argues with the people that come to his thing. He he wants to take them out back and punch them. This guy is off his rocker. If they don't keep oh. him confined to his base, there's no way he's going to. Who is this? Make- Who is this? Biden. Really? Yeah. No way. Uh, you don't. You don't know Joe the way I know Joe. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll have a cup of Joe. Phil, are you, are you, are you know? At what point, you know, Republicans are are dumping Trump like crazy. There, there are so many. Uh, uh, there was a list of about twenty Republican, major name Republicans, including some senators and some congressmen who are going over to the Biden side for this election. Yes, they want to be losers. Yeah. Colin uh, Powell well, was on the Democratic convention tonight. Yeah. Endorsing yeah. Biden. And Colin Powell, it's for all intents and purposes, is, is a Democrat now. No, you know? no. He's no, still a Republican. He, he always has been a Republican. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's uh, still registered Republican. He says so. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he does. But uh, he hasn't voted. Uh, he didn't vote for Trump last time. Well, you're not a Republican, Phil. No, I'm a John Bircher. You're a Trumpian. You know, no, there's a difference. I, I don't think a lot of self-respecting Republicans like Trump. They don't no. like what he's done to the party. I was, uh, hey, I, uh, I, everybody I talk to uh, is uh, that is pro-Trump likes Trump. I mean, and there's more and more and more of them, and they're starting to serve. Where do you find morons yeah. <laughs> that often? You know, and multiplying. It's hard, it's hard in the Bay Area to find people that are conservative. But you know no, what? No, you're not conservative, a, Phil. You're there's not nothing conservative. conservative about Trump. And there's nothing conservative about you. Well, I uh, maybe I am for, uh, you know, uh, America first. You know, and I don't think that that's bigoted. I just think that's what every country I does. I think it's selfish. They, they look at their own country and they make sure that their citizens are provided for before they start the... Uh, but uh, we don't provide for our own citizens, no, Phil. That's one of the problems we, we, we have. We've been providing for everyone else's citizens at the time we provided for ours. But we don't. But it's it's time we did. Well, when, when, the when, when is it? When is this, maybe we could afford it. When right? is this guy going to do it, Phil? Because uh, uh, I, I'm telling you right now, he hasn't done anything to help the average American. Well, what about you know, the, there was uh, the grain shipments 
prior to the Chinese deal that he had, they were at three hundred and ten million dollars, I think, for the year. Now they're at over uh, uh, three hundred uh, three hundred million. So th there's been uh, there's been a, a really big increase in in the grain, and that mm -hmm. has to. Be How come the farmers are still complaining? Well, uh, just today I heard Donald Trump. Uh, well, Paul, uh, forget Trump. it. Forget it. Don't I, believe well, anything well, he would, said. Why would he lie? You know, why would he lie on national TV? Well, he's only got like 20,000 lies since he took office. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why would he lie? Why would he lie? Because he, he, he wants to make the Guinness Book of World Records. You know, he, the, the fact is that grain shipments from the United States to China are up. And they're up big time. And they're up because of what Trump did with China. He's and trying to he's trying to claim new jobs that he's added since the COVID started too, yeah. and we haven't even got back to even from all the jobs that have been lost. So well, it was it was the Democrats that shut the place down anyway. What do you mean they sh we shut it down? We were trying to save lives, Phil. Yeah. Well, yeah. what about the eleven thousand lives that Cuomo killed in New York that he sent into uh, adult? Uh, facility. That's it's bullshit. Phil, that's bullshit, Phil. Your numbers are wrong to begin with on the nursing homes. Yeah, they're wrong. Look, don't give me that, Phil. I don't want. I mean, wait, hold on a second, Phil. I don't want to hear from you again on those kind of statistics because the other night, you came on here and you said that they were predicting a 1.4 million people. Wait a minute. Let me finish. We're going to die of COVID. And so you then found an article that said it in the New York Times, and you sent it to me. And do you know what it said, ladies and gentlemen? I put this before you. It read, there will be 1.4 million, or however much the amount was, uh, people dead from COVID if we do nothing. It, it, the early... They said, uh, if uh, it said, if we do nothing, Phil. Early models said that there were going to be... Two right. and a half wait, 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 Phil. wait, 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 Phil. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let's assume for a minute that we'll take your interpretation of the article. I disagree with your interpretation, but just for the sake of argument, let's go along with your interpretation. Now answer me this. What exactly are you giving Trump credit for for having made that number be lower? Everything. What is it he did specifically? Okay, the early models predicted uh, some 1.7, some two and a half. The could, one I found in New York could, said 1.7. Could. 1. 7. could. Now could. listen. To me. I listen to you. Shall listen we to me. define it? Listen to me. So uh, the early models predicted this could happen. Now uh, 170. Right. Uh, we're at 170 thousand, give or take. And uh, so instead of the two and a half million or the 1.7 million, you we're didn't at answer my question. I'm finishing. You pontificated well, uh, as usual. But you didn't answer my question. I gave you, let's assume for a minute that your interpretation is correct. Then answer the following question. What is it, if Trump did so well, what is it that he did that gets to 2.5, was the number you quoted, by the way. Instead, now we're 170. What is it no, that he did that made that number better? And it's still going up. Okay, can I'm, I I'm going to hold on a second. Before we do anything for the people Please who are answer. listening to us, here is the article that Phil sent me. Okay, see what the headline is? Worst case estimates for U.S. corona deaths. That's why they call it them says, models. projections by the CDC scenario show potentially vast toll, but those numbers don't account for interventions now underway. So my answer is... No, you told us that those were the projections, that the, that was only a projection based on nothing being done. It was an early model projection. No, now, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was March. It was March, but what it was, it wasn't a projection. It was an estimate the if model. if it do, if there were no interventions the underway. Hey, let Phil. me finish. Uh, no, I won't let you finish because you you lied to me the other day. No, I didn't. The yes, interventions you did. that were performed by Donald Trump, which were what to 170,000. Oh, which so were what? What interventions what? did he do, what? Phil? The the uh, uh, what do you call those things? The um, the uh, the things that they needed in the hospital. PPEs. All right, freeze, freeze. Yeah. You're telling me that in wartime, 
a president should brag that he built stretchers. <laughs> because that's the parallel here. The governors that's asked the for parallel, PPE. Phil. They asked for PPE. They asked for hospitals. They asked for hospital beds. And that doesn't thing. prevent much. What it does is it, it helps does. hospitals. The, but that didn't calm the, the number down to one yeah, yeah, Come on, Robert. You, you mean the hospitals don't help people? It's not the, the, Phil, the efforts? Phil, did he at any point advocate wearing masks in March, April, or May? No. No, or but did he, Dr. Dr. Fauci. Point, advocate, no, you're not letting me finish now. Any, you let him finish, Phil. You never no. shut up. You do hey, not just because you're short doesn't mean you have to be small. All Listen right, to guy. Listen to other people. The taller people. they are, the harder they fall. Listen to other people. Oh, that's right. You'd, you'd need a gun. That's when you're four foot six. That's what you need to do. Listen to me. He didn't advocate for the wearing of masks through March, April, May, and he even June. dicked around with it in June, July, and August. A. B. He never once discussed the idea of shutting down. He immediately went right to let's open up. We need to open up the economy because it suited his political needs. He never at any point helped the states to not compete against each other for masks and PPE. If he took on the Defense Act and made factories build that shit, then states wouldn't have had to pay seven fifty a fucking mask. That was one guy in New Jersey that bought a bunch of expired. No, no, uh, no, uh, Phil. No, 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 no. no. I, in That's fact, a in fact, Cuomo. A Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Cuomo at the time was complaining that these masks, which normally would cost him a buck or something like that, was costing seven fifty a piece, and they had to buy them from China. Yeah. You know why? China had contracts in place with 3M. Now, those contracts uh, had to be contractually fulfilled by 3M uh, uh, company, and they had to provide those to China. Excuse me, I have a cough. Bullshit. China was buying up the PPE because they knew what they were ready to buy. Why didn't Trump do something about that? It's it's well, you don't interfere with oh, oh, the Defense oh, Production Phil, Act. Phil, Phil, he did nothing. But the Phil, but Phil, Phil, you're being asked. You asked. We're asked a very simple question, and you never gave a simple answer. What the fuck did he do? Uh, he got the uh, ventilators. Oh yeah! Well, after he, he was begged, begged for them, after begged. after he didn't, have to beg, and he didn't buddy, think anybody needed them in the beginning. Cuomo said that Trump was doing such a wonderful job. No, he, that he things. that he asked for some things out of Trump, and he, and he praised and he, he praised Trump for giving them to New York. We never needed them, by the way. But we, they, it was good to have them here in case we did need them. We he didn't. Need, we didn't the need whole. the ship. Hold on a second. We didn't need the ship, and we didn't need Javits Center. But that's right. because Cuomo managed to stem the tide by urging people to wear masks, by taking yeah. certain women. Hold on a second, Phil. Don't be so anxious to jump in, okay? Uh, Cuomo uh, took decisive action that saved my life and the life of a lot of New Yorkers. And a lot of New Yorkers were di died because we weren't prepared for it because the president closed down China, but he didn't close down Europe. There was no reason to close Oh, China. yes, there was. Well, if China uh, had put a ban on travel within China, but they didn't put a ban on Phil, Phil, travel. Phil, 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 forget about what China did or didn't do. What happened that. was, hold on a second, Phil. You're not listening. You're not listening. The fact was the people left China and went to Europe, and that's how it came in here, and, before, and the CDC wasn't warning about that, and because the president didn't do anything about it, in the time between February 15th, I think, and like March, uh, something like 3,000 people came in from Europe, many of them infected with the coronavirus. And we didn't see that coming, and that's why New York and New Jersey got hit so hard. Yeah, you know what it was? My because the president was so intent on, on, on saying, doing something nasty about China, 
I mean, he, to this day, it's the China virus. You know, you're reading into it. No, you know what it is? It's the Trump virus. No, China attacked the world, and uh, they didn't want their. No, Phil, now, Phil, so they, Phil, quit, quit sounding insanity. like an asshole. Would you have an original thought? Just it once. is an original thought. It's what the conspiracy truth. theory did you get that Bobby, off of? It's, it's the deep. truth. It's the yeah. truth. That's what you yeah, can't handle. You know it. What conspiracy only theory website the did you get that off of? You know it. it. It's it's so obvious. Except it, oh yeah, obvious. oh yeah, it's real obvious. For he's out playing golf while fucking people are dying. That's obvious. Yeah, why is he playing playing golf while people are dying? His brother he's got died. Got his own he... golf club. The brother died. He was on the golf course the next night. Oh, so that's the reason. Yeah, that's the golf reason. Golf he plays golf because he owns a golf club. Now, that makes that makes job. perfect sense. A stressful job, and you know, at least he's not the way he does it. He has executive time until eleven a.m. Fucker, yeah. don't get out of bed until nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Why, why? Do you do you, do you, put, do you hey. put the sheets off? Is that what you hey. do? That you don't? Hey. No one. Hi, Bree. How are you? Just wanted to say hello to Bree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know how much, yes, you know how much I think is uh, Trump will win, and uh, it's probably a good thing. Uh, if Bernie Sanders couldn't break through this year, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what under what circumstances he would. But it, he, I think, I think the next four years, if Trump can get, get back in there, I think then the Democrat Party would learn its lesson. Yeah, really? I think no, they've learned they it already. They haven't learned a lesson. Uh, yeah. Bill Maher said it correctly. Uh, Biden's numbers are lower than Hillary's in the in the states where he needs to win. Uh, it looks like Trump for me because he's going to be able to go to those states and make sure the person who confirms the votes is in his loyalist pocket. Hillary it looks like never had Florida. Trump. Hillary never led in Florida by double digits. Yeah, I'm predicting a Trump and, victory. And, 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 and uh, if he doesn't win, will you come on here and and say I was wrong? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't predict and, yet. And, uh, but I, as of right now, I think that Trump is looking at uh, re-election. Really? And uh, it, Hillary was like about 25 points down in Texas, and Biden is tied in Texas with him. So Texas is in play. What, I, West what I've taken away from the convention Arizona's is, in play. Yeah. When when they report their numbers, it's always eleven votes for Bernie Sanders, fifty votes Look, for Bernie Sanders. I, I, let me let me say two for the next president. Let me throw this out that no matter what happens, uh, he's going to claim it was rigged and that the mail-in yeah. vote ruined it, and that he's going to he's he's not going to leave the White House. He's going to uh, throw this thing to the Supreme Court, and you know, no matter no matter how much he loses by, so whether he loses or wins, we're not getting rid of this guy. How many how many agree with me on that? Uh, it's going to take a while. They're going to have to pry his ass out. They're going it's going to take a while. But you, you know you know how much his golf outings is, ha, have cost the American public? Uh, 140 too much. 140 million dollars. That's really? how much they've cost the taxpayers. 140 million dollars. When he goes to play golf, they got to take the secret service with him. They got to you know, take the football you know with who, him. And you know who makes a lot of money off of that? Him. Trump. Yeah. Trump makes money off of that because the government and pays him to use his fucking uh, hotels. Isn't that I, I also want to say thank you to Ruben for Ruben. saying that I do have a right to toss an egg at the car. Thank you, Ruben. What? What? Oh, uh, my neighbor's car alarm went off 3.30 a.m. to 4.15 last night. So I asked on the chat, do I have a right to toss an egg at it? Yeah. He said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. But Ruben. I was told that the father of the guy is... Uh, you know, uh, Datuk, which they have all these titles over here. This and he is, you know, an honored by the king person, so that I could it might be trouble throwing the egg. You could be executed for it. You'd be deported. <laughs> I'll I'll have the egg. Uh, yeah. You know, colored egg. Yeah. Maybe, you Tony. Know, I'll, I'll dip it in blue. Yeah. You know, I was gonna. You know what blue. I think is gonna be the big moment of truth? I think is gonna be the debates. And then you, I think, I think you'll know the winner after the debate. Maybe well, even after the first one. I don't know and about that. Really want to see, people want to see Joe and him go at it. And if, and Phil, you have to admit, if he can hold his own, because let's be honest, Joe is up there in age. You can't. Say, we all want to see how he's going to handle the bully. 
I don't Tony, can I ask you a question? No, be a mud bath. Hit him. Yeah. That's Tony, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How many people uh, right now uh -oh, do you uh -oh, think are uh -oh. on the fence? You know, my brother's going with Biden. I can tell you that right off the bat. He works for the I, city. How many people across the country do you really think are on the fence right now? Um, I'm worried about it's coming down to the battleground states. And I don't I don't know, because I think the people I'm afraid of the battleground states. I think they get I think if Trump really puts pressure on him into debate. Joe just has to show that he could hold his own mentally. I don't mean that he's slower dementia, but I think these people down there, they're going to be hard to sell. I don't know. Alex, do you think things have changed that much down there? Like yeah. These yeah, the, the farmers are getting killed by the, all these tariffs and shit. They're losing money. They're going out of business. The, the, the huge, gigantic uh, uh, farming, farming companies are doing great. But the small farmers, they're getting fucking killed. All right, here's a question. I, I was looking at the last election, the battleground states, how close it was. And I know Phil's not going to want to hear this, but still in the back of my mind, it was so close that he won those states. You're starting to wonder, it's going to either go two ways, I think. I think if you if Biden comes out, and I have to tell this to you, Phil, if he comes out and it just wins handily, then I think that last election could have been rigged with Russia. Oh, yeah, what? We may never know and how this one will be, too. Because it was, Alex, look at those votes. I I'm, at I, I'm not going to say so that, if, I'm not going to say exactly that I believe that China rigged the election because okay. she did win by a really quite a majority. I mean, uh, three million votes is a lot of votes. However, I don't think the Soviets are, how can I put it, savvy enough to know about the Electoral College. And, I, and that's what you handed it to them. So I, I don't know that it was the China, the the Soviets that did it. I think they were doing a lot of pranking around the country. I think they were going into social media, you know. I, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 that's what Ver, I, Vernon, I, Vernon's, Vernon's got his hand up. Vernon's I know, got his hand. The Soviets up. have been gone for a Vernon's while. Vernon's got his hand up. In twenty in twenty sixteen, it came down to Michigan, yeah. Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, and right now. Well, back in 2016, Hillary didn't campaign in Michigan. She didn't yeah. campaign in Wisconsin, and she did very little in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And the total votes for those three states, Trump won by 77,000 votes out of 6 million. Yeah, yeah. And that's what put him over the top on the Electoral College. Well, guess yeah. what? Wisconsin, yeah. Michigan, and Pennsylvania, Joe yeah. Biden is competing, and he's ahead in some states double digits. Yeah. 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 Trump can't win if he loses Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Trump can't win. He can't win without Pennsylvania. He has to have Pennsylvania. Yeah. He's not getting Pennsylvania. He's losing Florida. He can't win without Florida. He's not yeah. getting Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania is too close to Delaware, and they love That's Joe. The point, yeah. They love he Joe. May not even get Joe Georgia. was born in Scranton. Yeah. He may lose Georgia. He may lose Arizona. You know yeah. what's going to come back to haunt him? I think, and I told this to Phil. He mocked the he mocked the virus. Yeah. That I would run that in when he said, "Oh, it's a political hoax." It's the Democrats. I would just keep playing that over to him because he mocked. He didn't think it was. He thought it was contained here. He probably thought in the back room they knew it was here. Listen, maybe it's not as bad as we think. Maybe going away. they get it going away. Okay. It, he probably never thought it'd be like this. And when it started you know, spreading. I, I can think, see the thing. Let's not I, test it. He probably says, what do you, you I think that that what the Democrats are going to do, they're just going to let him say whatever the fuck he wants to say. Because the more he opens up the, his mouth, the more he's going to hang himself because he's so stupid. And, and you know, the poll, he's, that's what's going to do it. Well, he divided the, but even like I was saying, like, like you were saying, Alex, in the beginning of the virus, he was almost making states against states. It was like a fucking civil war. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, those are democratic states. Listen, it's the United States of America. Right now. What are you going to do? You're going to just listen to him. Have you seen his press conferences lately? It's just like, hey, look at me. I hate everybody. The whole goddamn country is fucked up. So reelect me. It's like, hey, in your in your blue states, did you see that guy in the white pickup truck and uh, the girl? They were trying to defend somebody, and the uh, uh, protesters, the rioters, pulled him out. Knocked them out oh, with yeah. a board. 
I mean, this in Portland, this this is the kind of stuff that's going on, the lawless society that you're going to have under Biden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh God! Well, that, well, so you're using it's, fear tactics Bill. now. I love this. All that. Hey, Bill, hey, you know, Bill, you, got Bill, Pico, Bill. You, got, you got Pico here telling you know Bill. a soothsayer saying that this is uh, that this is what Trump is going to do. Phil, answer me. Speak. Answer me one simple question, Sister, Phil. Me, bro, answer Bill. one simple question. Answer one simple question. Who benefits from chaos? Uh, the Democrats. But no. No, 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 no. Autocrats benefit from chaos because yeah. then they're the law and order candidate. Uh, the Democrats are trying to show, look how out of hand everything is under Trump. But you know what? It's backfiring. Hey, things in, things in Portland, Portland Phil, states. things in Portland weren't out of hand until they came in and tried to take over. By yep. protect their uh, buildings. But they, they, their buildings weren't in danger. Now that they pulled out, they're going after the police. They're not going to be happy until they, uh, you know, they turn the whole place into a Phil, shit. Have you ever been to Portland? It's like the most oh. pussy city in the in America. It's not yeah. like they're exactly the most radical bunch of people. They just want to sit around and tie dye shirts for Christ's well, sake. You know? Why are they Why are they beating people in the street? Be, they're beating people. They no. Why is the government beating people in the street? Plus, why the are they illegally arresting oh. them without any identification? Was some guy named Love that unmarked hit, vehicles, and, and he ripped them out of his vehicle. And what they were trying. I to love do how I love how how Phil takes one incident yeah, and then tries to say it's going on all over the country. It is going on all over, but you know yeah. it, it, it's happening to the police. But you know what? These uh, if I hear if I hear doing? Trump mention Patterson, New Jersey, one more I fucking know. time. Yeah, I love it. I no. love it. No, but it's the only case he can come up with where there's been any kind of mail fraud. By the way, by yeah. the way, by the way, yeah. the article in the Washington Post, which somebody here quoted about Patterson, New Jersey, failed to mention three things. Number one, that every single vote that was faulty was disqualified. Right. So they were caught. Part two. No, you didn't let me finish. Part two. The whole purpose of the article was to show two things. One, that voter fraud doesn't really exist, and two, that the difference between absentee ballots and mail-in ballots is non-existent. Mm. You suddenly stop quoting that article once everybody else read it. Bullshit. Mm. I sent it to everybody. I know, and, they, and, and, and you, you know misread it. And, and that the system worked because they caught them. They yeah, caught well, them. That is just an example of what could happen. What could happen? They caught what them. could happen? They caught them. They caught them. By the way, you know what, they Phil? Phil, 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 be quiet. You know, Phil, York, Phil, Phil, you want something happens. to really worry about? I'll give you a scenario to worry about. Aliens come from outer space and they <laughs> take alien over. Alien DNA <laughs> is infecting all of our food. What's the election <laughs> in New York right now that they still, months later, haven't been able to figure out because of your mail in voting? And in, in Georgia, the man in charge of counting the votes was the man who became. Stacey Abrams, you know, the person that defeated Stacey Abrams. Pretty cool arrangement. He's not only the winner, but he was also in charge of counting the ballots. Everybody lies. Everybody that's cool. honest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Who's, who's the conspiracy monger now? Well, let's see. That was not a conspiracy. Oh, that, was, that was fact. Yeah, he was the Secretary of State list. in Georgia. Oh, yeah. lied. Clapper lied. I could go on all night. A and list the as Durham long as my left arm. The Durham oh. investigation proved that the they whole thing was... Oh, oh, oh. 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 Can I say what about the Senate oh, Intelligence hold, hold on Committee? Committee? John Larkin What about the it. Senate Intelligence Committee, Phil? Okay. A bunch of Republicans Facebook. did yeah. an investigation on their own in the yeah. Senate. Which is yeah. controlled by the Republicans, and they, they said that it was not a hoax. The they Russian interference was not they, a hoax. Yeah, did anybody see? Did anybody see that interview with uh, Ron Johnson, the the senator yes. from Wisconsin, who's in charge of yes. you know the uh, investigation into the origins of the yes. uh, Russia Gate? Well, he was being interviewed by this right wing radio guy named Yu Hewitt. Oh, and, yeah. And, and you it was going why do why haven't you subpoenaed them why don't you you know get them up in front and ron johnson well well you know well 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 the re uh, we we, we got to get the documents first we got to get the documents first the bottom them. line is 
They've got nothing. And if they, they the team, the if, if they bring Comey or Brennan or Clapper, it's just going to be a big shit show on Trump and everyone's going to laugh at them. That's, That's so why they're not going to subpoena Alex anybody. Alex Guy and the, uh, do the, the thing, the theme, right? Uh, what? Why? Oh, it's 8.54. Uh, it's, I'm so hot here that I, it looked like 8.59. Is that a white flag? Huh? No, I, I I I don't have the uh, I don't have the fan in here tonight, and I'm dying. Well, what what's Trump going to talk about in his stupid thing? You know, he he keeps repeating the same old stuff every time. He yeah. goes over the same routine. You can write down every subject and everything he's going to bring up on that subject. That's because it's the truth. I think we should all, you know, he's been he's been calling it the China virus, which I'm getting sick and tired of. And he's been calling I, it universal mail-in voting. There is no such thing. There's no such thing as universal mail-in voting. Mail -in voting. <laughs> he's got that mixed up with universal Medicare uh, medical <laughs> care. Uh, but uh, no, I think that we should just start calling it the the Trump virus. Yeah. You know, because he, he spread it. He spread funny. it in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, he's spread in America, but your guy Cuomo put uh, eleven thousand dead into. Uh, I got uh, news for you: there weren't eleven thousand dead in nursing homes, Phil. Yeah. There weren't eleven thousand dead in nursing homes, although it did hit, profoundly hit nursing homes because they were in closed uh, situations with a with a with a population of compromised people. Right. So, okay. So and Co Cuomo didn't 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 put them in there. And, and Cuomo and Cuomo did exactly what the CDC said. Once they were well, and, and yeah. they could be sent back to the nursing home, and that that's the CDC's recommendation. And he yeah. went by it and said he wishes he didn't. Right. Okay. Because, and he killed eleven. No, people. no, the CD. Oh, no, he didn't kill. You find me that eleven thousand people who died in that's nursing right. homes. I did. I'll send it. To yeah. You, yeah. Right. I'm It'll. Hoping. I can hardly wait to see what you send me. I'm gonna Patterson, come New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Patterson, Lord, New Jersey. 19%. Yeah, Patterson, New Jersey, right? If I hear Patterson, New Jersey one more time, I swear I'm going to puke. Yeah. If Trump was on the Titanic, he would have grabbed the dress. Yeah. Yeah. In, only in New Jersey could you have that kind of fraud. Uh, yeah, right. They didn't have fraud. They caught uh -oh. them. They caught them. They have fraud to catch someone. There's no fraud. Who are you going to catch? Hey. Hi. What? Oh, what? what? Oh, hey. Oh, it's a it's a, a, it's a female amongst us guys. It's Adrian. Yeah, you got rid of that other guy in the chair. Good. Hi, Adrian. Where did the ugly guy go? <laughs> oh, why are you looking at me? <laughs> uh, he Hi there. Uh, she just loves the camera, doesn't she? Yeah. 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 How old are you oh, now, sorry. Adrian? How old? Four. 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 One, two, three, Not four. Four. Yeah. four. Wow. Wow. When are you going to be five? Next year. Because when you're five, I think you can marry me, right? She's uh -oh. adorable. She's, She's just looking adorable. for daddy's response. Yeah. She's <laughs> looking for daddy's response. Anyway. Here's one other one. Uh, ah, they, oh, there's okay. the other. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> what a gorgeous yeah. family. Just a gorgeous family. And and uh, I have a funny feeling uh, mom's around there, too. Anyway. Hey, listen, uh, Adrian. Good seeing you, Adrian. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Bye-bye, Jeff. Goodbye, uh, Robert. <laughs> love you. <laughs> uh, Charlie, you're great. Uh, uh, Vernon, always a pleasure to have you here. John Larkin, thank you so much. Got to do something about that light. Uh, Adrian, no, it's yeah, okay. And uh, 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 <laughs> Tony and Phil and uh, Bree. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back, okay? There we go. There goes our citizen panel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's our citizen panel, and they're out of here, and uh, I'm getting ready to get out of here. Let me just hang up on everybody and uh, tell you that uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection over most of this same gap net. Uh, tomorrow night at uh, 9, at what? what is it, 8.30, there's the arena with the franchise MC, and then we'll be back again tomorrow night 10.30 Eastern Time, same time, 
same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her and stay safe out there. And for your fellow person, please wear a mask, okay? Good night. <laughs>